If you want to see more of my whole journey on a motorbike in Africa, please share and subscribe for the next episodes. It's a lot of editing work and I need at least a thousand subscribers so I can release a new video every week. If you have any questions about my trip, please leave a comment below. I arrived in Malawi exhausted and decided to camp for a few days at the Floyer Foundation, where the money spent goes directly to the education and care of the children of the village of Ngara. To my surprise most of the children all over Africa were terrified every time they saw my drone. So I proposed to do a small demonstration in the community to explain what it was. All very nice. But now let's go back to the reality of the road where many times I had to wait long hours for the rain to stop. Tanzania left me physically and psychologically worn out, taking care of a burnt leg not to get infected and with Froga beaten up leaking oil, so I had to take her to be repaired dismantling the whole engine. In the meantime, I took the opportunity to take a tour around the local market where I was undoubtedly the only foreigner in many kilometers around. With the motorcycle repaired I continued the trip. That was one of the advantages I considered when buying a local bike, any good mechanic could repair it or improvise whatever was necessary. An imported motorcycle would take longer to break, but the day I had a problem I was going to be stuck for ages in an African village with it. Malawi will be one of the poorest countries I visited, but it was also an oasis in the middle of the journey with good, empty roads, where I was able to slow down the pace of the trip and spend a few days at each site to recover after what I had left behind, and to gain strength in the face of what was still waiting for me.